Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care coming right here from Raleigh. And I'm very happy to announce this is our 50th episode today and we had planned to release a new type of A State of Sight where we can use Google Plus Hangouts to interview people with eye problems or eye experts from around the world for our 50th episode but we're not ready today but soon this will be coming so stay tuned. But in this episode, I would like to explain chemical burns as many people could have chemical exposures by either an acid or an alkali agent that can burn and harm the surface of the eye, including the cornea, the conjunctiva, and can definitely interfere with the vision. To understand these two types of burns, uh, first you should know that acid burn sometimes can be less harmful to the eye than alkali since the acid can sometimes prevent from penetrating very deep into the eye like the alkali can. An alkali is a strong base if you would think about something like lye or a bleach and sometimes these are the worst type of burns that we see. So if you get this type of burn it's very important to have good first aid where immediately you flush the eyes with as much water as possible. Many people that work as scientists or in a chemical situation will have a eye wash station that you can turn on and it will put two jets of water into both eyes and it's important to do this for at least 10 to 15 minutes immediately. After that if the eyes are doing a little bit better then you can go for urgent treatment in an emergency room or in an urgent care situation. There they may need to continue to flush the eyes because it's important to get out as much of this material as possible because it can continue to burn. Also if there's any particles like dust or the chemical itself, if it's not a liquid, these need to be removed. Uh, then following that I would take a look as an ophthalmologist to see what exactly the damage is to the eye and with this we can see burns and removal of the front surface of the eye or clouding of the cornea or if it even gets deeper into the eye it can cause cataracts and serious trouble inside the eye. So after that we have many options for recovery for the patients and these primarily involve bringing inflammation under control and preventing infection. If the cloudiness and the vision does not improve it may require surgery in the short term to help restore the surface of the eye or in the long term to remove the cloudy cornea with a corneal transplant or other procedures. So if you have any questions about chemical injuries to the eye please post we'll be happy to interact with you and we hope to see you again soon next time on A State of Sight.